Bells Beach, Australia is a famous surf beach located on the Great Ocean Road near the surf epicenter of Torquay. When it comes to the ASP Rip Curl Pro Contest, something about Bells really brings out the serious side in the competitors. Maybe it's the historical aura of the place, the fact that it's the oldest contest in the history of surfing, or because Torquay is the birthplace of companies like Rip Curl and Quicksilver. Anyway, it's different. It already had the prestige of being probably the number one surf contest, uh, definitely in Australia, if not the world. And then I think it's the, the place itself, you know, it's, it's not built up. It's like, you know, the, the Bells Cliffs look exactly the same now as they did probably, you know, 50,000 years ago. So it's quite pure. The, the local people have done a great job maintaining the natural environment here. And then the, the, there's the wave, you know, it's a, it's a great wave. It can be a really difficult wave to surf. But, you know, when you see a deep ocean, deep southern ocean swell pumping through, and dare I say it, corduroy to the horizon. It's one of the great sights you'll ever see in surfing. You've got to put your wetty on. You've got to check out the wind and, and you've got to check out the cold. You've got to check out the wet water temperature. The, the waves come with such power. You've really got to be patient. You've really got to choose where you're going to sit. You've got to check the tides. Obviously, snappy you can just rock up and surf it. Pretty much anyone can surf it, you know. But whereas here, it's a lot more tricky. It's got a few different boils that you have to sit off and you really got to know the wave and you've really got to surf the wave for what it is. You can't just attack it. You just got to flow with it. Bells Beach usually favours regular foot riders and when the surf is good it needs power, knowledge and timing to tame it. The last goofy footer to win the Rip Curl Pro was Aussie legend Mark Ocalupo in 1998, so it's been a long time between drinks. The history of the place. I think the, you know, how much, you know, how many good surfers have walked down that that little staircase there, and it's always always a dream of mine to be here. And it just feels good to keep being here. The Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach is unveiling a new format this season, pinning the ASP Top 45 in man-on-man -man elimination heats from the beginning, throwing out everybody that loses in the second round. Even if that means Kelly Slater stumbles against wild card surfer Owen Wright. It takes a while before you've seen all the tides and all the winds and all the, uh, you know, at, at different swell sizes. So, um, you know, you just don't turn up and rip and uh, go home famous. It takes a while here. After a refill of energy overnight, we are in the quarterfinals. In the semi-finals, Adam Robertson and Joel Parkinson put down their rivals and are headed to the final. Finals time. Local surfer and wildcard Adam Robertson did the impossible and battled heat to heat into the final against Parco. Despite not having a major sponsor, Robertson's effort proved that you have to keep an eye on him. While Robertson opened up strong, it was Parkinson's forehand flair and precision that saw the Gold Coaster net an impressive 17.40 out of a possible 20 heat total for the win and add cushion to his first place on the world ranking. You know, winning at home is probably the most special win you can have, but 
this is the most special trophy you can have, you know. I think there's not another trophy in surfing that doesn't hold the prestige and the honour list that it has, uh, you know, to be back on there again and, and to uh, hold it for a year is going to be amazing. A mind-blowing contest at Famous Bells has written history again, but it's not the end of the ASP this year on Rebel TV.